Hi, I'm Michelle Carr and welcome to Your Delicious Life, where each week we take a look at life through a different perspective and we either learn something new or we're reminded of something that we already knew. This week we are talking about the truth about a positive mindset. Now it would be great if we could go through life with the theme song of an animated film playing in our head, skipping along and pooping out rainbows and farting out fairy dust. But life doesn't always work out that way. And it can be hard to have a positive mindset, but it's really important. And that's what I want to get into today. Now, if you can picture a time when you have visualized a positive outcome in your life, something working out the way you hoped it would, and when you imagine that happening and you're thinking about what it looks like, what it feels like, you notice a calmness come over you. Your shoulders drop, your heart rate is slower, and there's just this sense of, yes, things will work out exactly as they should, and that's gonna be exactly how it needs to be. But when we stress about things and we worry about the outcome, that's when the shoulders get scrunched up, that's when the heart rate starts going faster, and that's when we start to really stress out about what's gonna happen. And we try to control things that aren't within our control. And that's when things can get really hard. We know a positive mindset is beneficial for us, both mentally and physically. So why does the question creep up? What if I'm wrong? What if I have all this positive thinking and visualization about an outcome and it doesn't turn out that way? What if I'm wrong about it? Am I stupid to be positive? Is that a dumb thing to be doing now because it didn't work out anyways? No, not at all. See, here's the thing. Here's the truth about a positive mindset. A positive mindset doesn't mean that things always work out. It means that you never give up. It means that you keep going. Quotes like, you know, you can lose the game, but don't lose the lesson. Win or learn. Those are when those types of things really come into play and really need to motivate us to keep going forward. Um, I was listening to a talk from Jocko Willink, I think I'm saying his name correctly, um, and he was saying how whenever his friend would tell him negative news, he would say, good, good, good. And the whole premise was good because this just sets you up for the next thing. What else is coming from this? What can you learn from this? How does this make you a better person? It's not necessarily the outcome that's what's important. It's that we stayed in a positive place. It's that we didn't let our shoulders scrunch up. We kept them down. We didn't let our heartbeat start racing over things we can't control. We kept calm about what we could do and we took action where we could and we didn't worry about what was not in our control. That's what a positive mindset is. That's the truth behind a positive mindset. It's about staying in your place of calm and happy and having a vision for great things happening and not letting the vision for negative things take over. It takes the same amount of energy to have a positive outlook on something or a negative outlook. It takes the same amount of energy to say, this is totally gonna work out to this is never gonna work out. So if you're going to give out energy and you're gonna say words, why not choose to say them in a positive direction? Why not choose a positive mindset and go forward with hope and belief and faith and hard work and execution on things instead of moping along thinking nothing's ever gonna work out? Stay in a positive mindset, do your best, and if things don't work out, it's okay. Keep moving forward. Don't dwell on the fact that they don't work out. Rejoice in the fact that you stayed positive no matter what, and you're gonna to continue to stay positive going forward. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have an amazing week, and I can't wait to see you next week. Take care.